Hello to all. In this video, we are still under the same subtopic 9.3 part A, but now we want to find the derivative of logarithmic function. So basically, we want to differentiate a ln function here. So there are few rules that need to be learned before we do some exercises. So first one, whenever we have ln of x, the derivative of it would be 1 over x. Second part, if we have ln of ax plus b, the derivative of it would be um, 1 over what's inside the bracket, so ax plus b, times with the derivative of your denominator part. So differentiate that one, you're going to get a. So this will be equal to a over ax plus b. There's a hint here, whenever you differentiate a log function, you will uh, get a fraction as your final answer. Third part, if we have y equal to ln of fx, so our dy dx here would be equal to 1 over fx times with f prime of x, or we can rewrite as f prime x divided by fx still a fraction here and last one if we have y equal to ln to the power of n of fx this is basically equal to ln of fx the whole thing to the power of n here in order to differentiate this equation we have to use power rules so bring your um, power to the front that's how we get n and then copy everything back what's inside the bracket that's how we get ln of fx. And then all power minus 1. That's how we get n minus 1. And then only after that you can differentiate ln of fx. Now we will do some exercise. So example 10. Find the derivative for each of the following part A. We have y equal to ln of 4x minus 3. So our dy dx here would be equal to 1 over 4x minus 3 times with... The, now we have to differentiate your denominator part. So derivative of 4x minus 3 will be equal to 4. So here, your final answer will be 4 over 4x minus 3. Second one, we have ln of x squared minus 5x plus 1. So our dy dx here will be equal to 1 over x squared minus 5x plus 1. And don't forget to times with the derivative of your function. So you differentiate this one, we're going to get 2x minus 5. So our final answer here would be 2x minus 5 divided by x squared minus 5x plus 1. Next one, we have ln of 6 to the power of 3x minus 8. So our function inside the bracket here is an exponential function. Our dy dx would be equal to 1 over 6 to the power of 3x minus 8 and now we have to differentiate this exponential function we have learned this before we have three main step first step copy everything back so we will have three sorry 6 to the power of 3x minus 8 second step differentiate your power so we will get 3 and last step don't forget to ln your base in this case we will get ln 6 6 to the power of 3x minus 8 can be cancelled out. So here our final answer would be 3 ln 6. Okay, proceed to question D. We have y equal to negative 4 ln of 7 minus x. So our dy dx here would be equal to negative 4 here is basically a constant. So we just ignore. You just rewrite it back ln of 7 minus a sorry ln of 7 minus x now if we differentiate we will get 1 over 7 minus x differentiate your 7 minus x you're gonna get negative 1 
left. So here our final answer will be 4 over 7 minus x. Now we proceed with example 11, a little bit higher level of question. Find the derivative for each of the following function. Part A, we have ln of 3 minus 5x squared. And part B, we have y equal to ln of squared of 3 minus 5x. Um, in one glance, basically we uh, can see that this uh, almost likely to be the same function but we have a power at a different part so for part a if we have a power squared here for our function following the log rule we can bring the constant to the front so this is basically equal to 2 ln of 3 minus 5x and after that we can differentiate this as usual so here our dy dx will be equal to 2 does not affect our derivative, so you just have to rewrite it back. Ln of 3 minus 5x, if we differentiate this, we're going to get 1 over, rewrite back your function, so 3 minus 5x, and don't forget to differentiate this, so you're going to get negative 5. So simplify your answer, our final answer here will be negative 10 divided by 3 minus 5x. That is for part A. For part B, we have ln squared of 3 minus 5x. So if we rewrite this question, this is basically ln of 3 minus 5x and the whole thing would be squared. Means that we have the power for our log function and not our fx function. For this part, we cannot apply log rule where you can bring the constant to the front. So now, we don't have any other choice but to use power rule. So, our dy dx here would be bring your power to the front. So, you're going to get 2. Copy everything inside the bracket. So, we will have ln of 3 minus 5x. All power minus 1. So, 2 minus 1. And or only you have to differentiate your ln function. So we will have 1 over 3 minus 5x times with negative 5. Seems like a bit, little bit complicated but if you follow this, um, if you follow the right rule then it will be fine. So now our function will be equal to negative 10 ln of 3 minus 5x divided by 3 minus 5x. Okay, so we proceed with uh, question C. Our question is y equal to ln of 4x cubed minus 2 squared. So we have a squared function here. So in order to avoid confusion, first we can apply log rule to simplify this up. So this would be equal to 2 ln of 4x cubed minus 2. As you have learned this before, whenever you have a constant as your power for log function, you can bring the power to the front. So it will be easier for you to differentiate this function now. So now we can differentiate this function. So our dy dx would be equal to constant 2 you just have to copy it back so we have log function here so 1 divided by everything inside your bracket so 4x cubed minus 2 now don't forget to differentiate this function so you will get 12x squared okay we settle with the derivative process now we only have to simplify this up so we will get 24x squared divided by 4x cubed minus 2. Don't forget, your final answer always be in a simplest form. So, we, get, we have to simplify this once more. So, our final answer here will be 12x squared divided by 2x cubed minus 1. Okay, proceed with question D. We have y equal to ln squared of 4x cubed minus 2. So, for this question, if we rearrange this back, this would be equal to 
ln of 4x cubed minus 2, the whole thing would be squared. So we have a, a power outside of our function. So we have to use power rule to differentiate this function. Our dy dx here would be equal to, so apply power rule, bring your power to the front. That's how we get 2 here. And then everything inside your square bracket, we just have to copy it back. So ln of 4x cubed minus 2. All power minus 1. Settle with the power. Now we have to differentiate what's inside our square bracket. Since we have ln function, so 1 over our function 4x cubed minus 2. And last part, don't forget to differentiate this function. We're going to get 12x squared. Settle with the differentiation process, we just have to simplify this up. So now we will get 24x squared ln of 4x cubed minus 2 divided by 4x cubed minus 2. And same as before, our final answer always been in simplest form. So we have to simplify this once more. We're going to get 12x squared ln of 4x cubed minus 2 divided by 2x cubed minus 1 and that would be our final answer.